Well, this is a special time of year in the European footballing cycle. It's where it all begins again. The lifting of the trophy, the winners' medals. That was all back in May. A mere reminder, a wreck of the glory that was and what may be to come, perhaps, for one of these. This one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. So here it is, what we've all been waiting for. Make sure you are strapped in and ready to go. Well, the biggest show in town just now. Peter and everyone wants to be a part of it. Uh, a competition that seems to draw out emotions. And in keeping with that, we've got an atmosphere with a real sense of enthusiasm here. And uh, I'm hoping we get lift off once this game kicks off. We have already started here. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? 
Yeah, Ederson. Shapes to shoot! It didn't come off, but an audacious effort. Well, it was certainly an acrobatic effort. I mean, it was probably the best option for him, but they're never easy to pull off. Mondi. Gundogan. Bernardo Silva. And it's De Bruyne. Rodri. Stones. Kyle Walker. De Bruyne. First quarter of an hour gone. Neither side yet able to find the net. Did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. And it's played forward. He's left his man. Great run this, he's covered quite a distance. Looking for a decent ball in. And a shot! And shoots! Good try. The outcome could so easily have been different. Played it short. RZ seem happy to let their strikers roam out wide. I wouldn't want that. No? No, well, my worry is that their, their main threat is being shifted out of contention. De Bruyne. Sterling. De Bruyne. De Bruyne gets it out to the wing. If you have just joined us, you'll be glad to know that you haven't missed a goal. And it's hoisted clear. Rodri. De Bruyne. Bernardo Silva. Plays it out to the flank. Bernardo Silva. Time. So now the team has broken through. That's not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. We can review the first half. Well, Peter, apart from the lack of goals, I really don't think there's there's much to criticise. I think they've got to keep doing what they've been doing, and eventually they should find a way to the back of the net. Here's hoping for them. So they head in, no further forward. The score here, still, nil-nil. We're probably into the second 45 minutes. Well, that first 45 minutes... He's gone for it! Oh, that's confidence for you. Distance doesn't even bother him. like this fella almost had a sixth sense to get themselves in such great coaching positions how quick minded was that deadlock broken it's 1-0 well listen a few words of advice and encouragement from the manager during the break can often straighten things out and it's paid off here the Bruin looking as though he's being given special treatment here treatment he could well do without well, closing them down first, Peter, is a very necessary step in, in preventing them from... Goes for goal! It's broken loose! Ederson, and they've been caught out here. 
Hit into the middle. Oh, good tries of shots! Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Mondi. Gets it back. And it's Bernardo Silva. And here's Aguero. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. And it's got through. Oh, that had to be more accurate. RZ certainly don't need to overcommit now. Their priority lies further back. Rodri. So this is it. We're on the verge of witnessing a major shot. Goes for goal! Back of the net! Dying minutes, and we're all square again! Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. So all square. So that's it. It is all over. Not ideal, but not the worst start at all. It's an opening day draw. If you look back on the game, then Jim, it could have been both better or worse. So a draw will be a happy compromise, I think, to open their group account. It always helps to have something to build on. And
So on to match day two then, on the back of a draw in their previous outing, a result which makes us none the wiser as to their prospects of going through. They'd want to go one better here to put themselves right in contention for a place in the top two, and their coach was very quick to point out in defending his players ahead of this game that the supporters need to be right on board with them. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. It has not been the ideal start, but plenty of time still to make up ground. Well, Peter, the groups aren't really going to take shape until, say, the fourth or fifth games. But equally, they don't want to allow themselves to be left in a position to go chasing points too hard at the end of the group. So this calls for a, a pragmatic approach and picking up as much as you can now to at least ease the psychological pressure later on.
So it's down to business here. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? I, I would think Diego Costa. Not only does he do a, a good job with his back to goal, he does a better job facing goal through his willingness to run behind the fences. Uh, a provocateur with, with a villainous reputation, but so, so effective. Well, quite no argument for me on that one. That's just an example of overcommitting, and they're fortunate for the quality of the intervention. It was vital. Llorente, Partey, and here's Morata. Out towards the flank. Loose ball, who's going to get there? Trippier. Gorgeous control there. No complaints about that challenge. Robust but fair. Sterling. Pings it out wide. Rodri. De Bruyne. And it's Sterling. Still goalless. Rodri. Stones. Kyle Walker. Cleared without complication. Gundawan. De Bruyne. Bernardo Silva, Kyle Walker, Bernardo Silva, there's the, and the finish! Well, he should have done better, and he knows it. Oh, that look of disbelief. Whipped in. And they've been caught. It's Costa! A real chance and a real let off. All he'd be thinking is please, ground, swallow me up. Laura. He's gone for it! He's delivered all right! Terrible error. Duly punished. So we have our breakthrough. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. De Bruyne. Approaching half-time and still behind. Can they make something happen now? De Bruyne. That's De Bruyne! Oh, that is rather wayward. De Bruyne certainly displayed his fine technique, but the keeper was never really in trouble. Partey. And it's Diego Costa. Morata. And he's cut it out. Forward it goes. Jimenez does well there, alert. Now it's Costa. Partey. He's there to receive it. It's Morata! It's in! And already they're looking to run away with it. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think... And there's the end of the first half. Reflections on the first half. Look, Peter, this isn't good. Their body language is not encouraging, and the manager must have a, a major verbal impact, or else. And we're underway again. Well, this half might require them to produce a plan A, B, and C. Leveling the score is easier said than done, but that will be the target. Get back on terms and then use that momentum to go again. Mendy has given away a free kick and he has shown him a yellow card.
Doesn't get the pass, he's looking. Shot at goal! Number one. De Bruyne. Has gone out. Now it's Costa. And here's Morata. Morata! It's anyone's ball. This is gone, that's a foul. Well, the referee has made it pretty clear now that this is his last chance. Well, I think the referee would have told him to rein it in or, or suffer the consequences. The one. Aguero. Gundawan. That's gone a long way up and away. And it's Walker. Kyle Walker. De Bruyne. It out of harm's way. Bernardo Silva. De Bruyne. Trippier. Partey drives it forward. He spotted the run and played him through. Morata gets through on his own. That's good defending, very good defending. Now it's Morata, gets the better of his man. Morata has been caught there, it's a foul. run down the left-hand side. Oh, sweet feet. Gundogan. Kyle Walker. Gundogan. Mondi. Sterling. Bernardo Silva, good challenge, excellent challenge. Managed to get it away, and that's it. Well, the players certainly gave it everything, but just didn't get the break. Terrific support, terrific effort.
So welcome one and all to our live coverage of the ongoing group stage here. The tournament making steady progress towards its knockout phase. We'll be ready to go once the final checks are carried out. We have a hugely expectant crowd here. We just hope that the game lives up to the atmosphere. This is a very good... Has a goal! It's there! And the whole idea is to start as you need to go on, and that sets their tone beautifully. And that really is so, so impressive. Yeah, I think he just thought about trying his look from further out there, but why bother when you can worm your way through a defence like that? It's, it's terrific play to, to get through and score. Stad René will have an early lead. Good start. De Bruyne. Bernardo Silva. And it's Mondi. Cut out in the nick of time. Breaks on here. Grenier. Yang. Could be a chance. It's one! Grenier. Shapes to shoot! It just took too long getting forward. Well, the whole idea of a good breakaway is to leave the opposition struggling to get back, and they were just too slow. Bernardo Silva, Rodri, Sterling, and it's Gundogan. He's going after it. Grenier gets wrestled off the ball. Bernardo Silva. Sticks in a foot to win it back. And it's hoisted clear. Mondi. And here's Sterling. Chance to shoot. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. And it's Mondi. And Zonzi. Grenier. Yang, it's a decent ball, going through, hits one, hits it, and with that goal comes comfort, a moment that needed composure, and he had plenty of it, I just thought he knew exactly what he was doing by feigning to move one way, and then readjusting back, control trickery. Stade René got themselves a two-goal cushion. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Forward it goes. And it's the whistle for half-time. So you views on the first half. Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, you see, they've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first-half success with a, another show of strength? The action has already resumed here. Well, this half might require them to produce a plan A, B and C. Leveling the score is easier said than done, but that will be the target. Get back on terms and then use that momentum to go again. Defending, albeit from an unexpected source. You have to admire commitment like that, because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing, but instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to, uh, to dig in for his team here. Grenier with a delicate ball. Gundogan is being picked on here. Well, he's the quarterback equivalent, so I'm not surprised that he's been closed down first. Bernardo Silva. 
quarter of an hour into the second half. Forward tracking back like that, always appreciated by the crowd. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team really, your striker should be the first line of that defence and, and he's delivering. He's on his way. Mendy concedes a free kick for that. Shooting chance! A real chance and a real let off. Well, Peter, he clearly felt he was being invited to shoot, and it wasn't the worst decision he could have made. Niang, Niang tries lifting it over, has a hit! Kyle Walker, De Bruyne, Gundogan, good challenge, he just stood firm. Niang, oh, the ball's whistle's gone, that's a uh, foul. into the area uh, more than happy to take the muscular approach Mondi a heavy challenge back into the middle Tries a shot! And that may well be that. That is that. The players certainly gave it everything, but just didn't get the break. Terrific support, terrific effort. Welcome everybody to our continued live coverage of these group stages. We have for you a game of great intrigue and indeed great consequence. The group's taking shape nicely now and we're already seeing who is likely to make the knockout rounds. Are we to see another team become yet another statistic here or somehow fight themselves out of a nasty predicament, avoid defeat and keep their hopes alive? It is time to focus, get on with the job and see what transpires both here and indeed elsewhere. I think it's our venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. The action has already started. Who do you, Jim, see making the difference here? Yeah, I'm Eric Laporte, 
he's a centre back who's one of the best in the business when it comes to to playing out from defence. He can spark quick counter attacks. Or he's had a goal, goal, and Stade Rene take the lead. Well, he was never going to miss from there. So much to aim at. Yeah, and all engineered, Peter, by some smart running and movement. That's already something to admire. But how about the pass? Just wonderful. Loved it. Stad René take the early advantage. Gundawan. De Bruyne. Balls come loose and the chase is on. Tries a shot! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Oh, I'm not sure what he had in mind, and I don't think he knew either. And the whistle has gone for a reckless challenge there. De Bruyne gets his final warning. Yeah, and he has to change his ways, or this referee could soon change his status. Real chance! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Oh, that's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. They've played it short. That's great strength on the ball. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. He's come loose. Now it's Aguero. Now it's Sterling, and it's Aguero. Yang, now oh, they can break here. Oh, what a ball! A scything tackle. That's just an example of overcommitting, and they're fortunate for the quality of the intervention. Gundogan. Bernardo Silva. And it's De Bruyne. Thinks he's got rid of that. De Bruyne. Sterling. De Bruyne gets it out to the wing. Bernardo Silva. Rodri. Bernardo Silva. Mondi. Bernardo Silva, Rodri, he's had a shot! And that's it for the first half, a breathless ending. So a thrilling culmination to the first period, but despite all of that, the two sides still separated by a single goal. It's a dressing room that needs rousing at half-time, because in truth, they've not really been at it so far. Um, if the pep talk works, we may see a very different side second half. We need to. Well, the action has already resumed here. I think they've got to go out at the start of this second half now and set a tone that smacks of intent and determination. Should they manage it, I think they can find a way back. Kyle Walker. Well, it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Zonzi drives it forward, and the counter is on. And Merrick Laporte simply had to make that count, and he did it with some authority too. Wonderful. Sterling! That's got him rattled. So we've reached the hour mark. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, they may be down, but they're far from out. In terms of chances, they're right up there with these opponents. And it's Niang. 
Niang. Niang! And for a moment, time stood still. Oh, that was great pressure to force the initial error, Peter. It's the perfect example as to why this is a favourite tactic of a lot of teams these days. Out to the left it goes. Sterling. Gundogan. De Bruyne. Has a hit! Stad Rene are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. He's got options out wide. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. The Bruin is being picked on here. Well, he's a, a source of potential trouble, so tight marking just has to be done. Gundogan. And it's Mondi. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. It's wrestled off the ball. Oh, he's taken out. That'll be a foul. Just a talking to, I think. Yes, it is. <laughs> Stade René are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. So this is it. We're on the verge of witnessing a major shock. Gundogan. That's it. They are out. Just not good enough. And he's barely got a foothold in the competition before slipping out of it. They have fallen short, and they are gone. Would you summarise what we've seen today, then, Jim? Well, this is the danger of short...
Well, hello everybody and welcome to what is the opening day of the 16th European Championships. 55 UEFA member states tried their hand at becoming the finest of them all. Now we are left with the 24 who have made it to these finals. Opening day certainly has a special feel to it. The atmosphere combustible but joyous as we usher in a new era for this competition together with the hopes and aspirations of all that take part. Worth reminding ourselves too that 2020 is the sixth and Sterling! Modric, and it's played forward. Hoists it forward. Well positioned to make that interception. Rice. Neither side yet able to find the net. Kane. Vida goes looking. And now they can launch a counter. Modric. Tries to get it forward quickly. Shapes to shoot! He's a good enough try. Oh, it's a very good effort. There wasn't much wrong with that at all. We're talking fine margins now. Shoots! Good stop. That wasn't easy. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Croatia with another corner. Vlasic hits one! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Well, to be honest, he shouldn't have spilled out in the first place, but he recovered it really quickly, so no harm done. And it's Perisic. Michelko. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Now it's Sterling. He gets past his man. Livakovic catches it safely. It's got through. That's a hit! Now it's Perisic. Chooses to go back. Vashelko has come steaming greatly! Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class weight. And it's going to be the final act. Enough for the one to try. Interesting game up to now. So they head in no further forward. The score here still nil nil. And the second half gets on the way. So deadlock still as the second half begins. Michelko. Perisic. Perisic. Chance to play it in. Oh, nice touch. Vashelko wants to bless it. This could fall anywhere. Oh, that is asking for trouble. Trout goes for goal. Oh, fine stop from the keeper. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeper. Perisic, and they've been caught out here. 
Right towards the front then. Rakitic. Lovell. Modric tries to switch the play. And it's Perisic. Vlasic. Well into the second half, and still there's nothing between them. And Sterling! Oh, no shortage of confidence there. Sterling just backs himself every time. Give him a challenge, and he rises to it. Chilwell. Forward it goes. Sancho. England merit full marks for their attitude and application. It's an untidy challenge. Free kick given. Oh, that's a booking. Always looked it. Rebic, Modric, they are right into last chance territory. Maguire plays it forward. Now it's Kane. That's the through ball. Sterling! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Kovacic. Vida. And that's that. Not ideal, but not the worst start at all. It's an opening day draw. Your final thoughts, Jim? I don't think they'll be too upset about that. One point is OK. And steering clear of an opening loss keeps the mood in the dressing room upbeat and confident that better results are right. So it wasn't a brilliant start to the competition, but there is certainly no cause to panic just yet. A place in the next stage is well within reach if, and it is a very big if, they can take all three points here to add to the solitary point they already have in the bag. There are, of course, so many permutations, combinations that the various potential outcomes of this game could lead to, but there is never any space for debate as to what the team should be going for. They know what they've got to do. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. England looking at a pivotal game. Second game in the group so often is. Well, having drawn their opening game, Peter, I think there's a little more pressure to win this one rather than leave it to the final match and endure a, a more nail-biting encounter. That should be reflected with a purpose. Has a hit! 
Well, he doesn't need a second invitation, even from that range. Omar El Abdullawi. Omar El Abdullawi goes upfield. Oh, Red, he sorted that out. Little accusatory stare there tells the whole story. Norway. Forward it goes. There's the through ball. Promising move that. Good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. That's a throw. Oh, some tackle that. It's a loose ball. Nothing wrong with that tackle. Ball won cleanly. Broken through. Certainly not for the one to try. Interesting game up to now. Still goals. The first half compared with your expectation. Unspectacular, but solid, and that solidity could yet be the foundation for them to to go on and win. So they head in no further forward. The score here still nil nil. So we're just settling back into this second half. England can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. Uh, he's not going to get that. And that's a throw. of step the sharpness of movement the certainty of finish yeah, i think he just thought about trying his look from further out there but why bother where you can worm your way through a defense like that it's it's terrific play to to get through and score norway break the deadlock oh half time has been a blessing for this team you know what a great start to the second half Good defending albeit from an unexpected source you have to admire commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing. But instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to uh, to dig in for his team here. Sancho. Oxlade Chamberlain. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, the time has arrived to start taking risks. They may well be happy just to level this. Oxlade-Chamberlain over to the left. Rice. Jordan Henderson. Rice. Oxlade-Chamberlain. Plays it out to the wing. Well, if something's got to happen, it's going to have to happen now. They need something heroic now, or a lucky break, or a kind refereeing decision. Anything. No messing about, just bludgeoned the way. Look, with time running out, they have to get the ball in the penalty box, and if it means a long punt, then so be it. They've got to give themselves a chance. He's played him through. And King! Oh, what a wonderful stop! Well, as Tesco Peter, the keeper, has just received an A-plus grade. Substitution. 
Norway can make their change now with uh, a break in play. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who is going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. And that's that. One goal settled it. A tense and exciting game that just got away. I've been in this position myself, and this will be difficult to take. They did everything right that score, but at least I suppose they can reflect on a few positives from this week. England emerging for this crucial group game here, the tournament still in its relative infancy. It is already developing into quite a spectacle, and that of course is what you expect from this, the greatest of all the tournaments. It has been terrific stuff so far, so let us hope the trend continues here. Oh, shooting chance! goal is that big deflection that's one for the dubious goals panel big occasion big goal crucial lead that's the way you go about things if you want to qualify it's superb out to the left it goes Gomez cuts it out Rice and here's Kane. Pushbar plays it towards the front. It's a loose ball. Schick. Tried to play it through. Yeah, I mean, he, I think he did well to, to spot the run. He just didn't get enough behind it. It happens. Rice dashing forward at pace. The referee's awarded a free kick. It's not taken him long, and that's going to be a booking. Well, this is worrying. He is not the sort of player who tends to stay down. He doesn't need a second invitation, even from that range. Jordan Henderson. England suffering an early setback. They're looking to reel it back in. Big chance! It's anyone's ball. And he has been fouled there. Inaccuracy. Jordan Henderson.
push power. And now they can launch a counter. The Czech Republic have opted to really stretch the game now. Yeah, that's pretty evident, but what's their thinking? Um, I, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the 18-yard box, trying to remove that compactness. Some excellent tackling here, and that one a perfect example. Going through. Well, I'm not quite sure he needed to hold up play quite as much as he did then. A couple of his teammates were very annoyed. Receives it from behind. Gets away from his opponent. And he's got his range wrong there. England have turned to their bench, and we're going to have a substitution. Abraham plays it out to the flank. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Hoists it high. It has got through. Schick has a goal! A real chance and a real let-off. The Czech Republic know they can rely on the counter and they've just expressed a warning. Promising move that. Good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. Looking to hit the front line. There will be a throw in. Good progress he's made on the ball. Where to next? Gomez. Alexander Arnold tries to get it all the way back and they start again. England are still behind as we reach out for half time. Jordan Henderson. Alexander Arnold. And here's Kane. And he's cut it out. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Suchi. Suchi goes looking. Uh, the ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Oxlade Chamberlain. Jordan Henderson. Pushbauer. And here's Kane, played out to the right. No messing about, just bludgeoned the way. Whipped it again, towering header! Good delivery, no joy. No, that was a slick move, and there were several options in the box to, uh, to pick out. Sancho and it's Huspar Huspar whipped in oh well defended that had to be done and the whistle goes for half time and here we are off they go for half time the Bengals did indeed come in the first half and there has only been that one goal which was very very tight not the most convincing of displays, they could certainly do much better than this. They want to keep things simple, build up their confidence and not rush into mistakes. And we're already back underway here. Well, it seems like the perfect situation for fortune favouring the brave. 45 minutes to pack in enough risk-taking to get this match turned around. It's very doable. Alexander-Arnold. Oxlade-Chamberlain, Henderson. Just 
right behind for a corner kick. Oh, smart save. And it's Oxlade Chamberlain. Got a shot away. Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Oxley Chamberlain is very sporting here to acknowledge the quality of the save. A lovely little footballing moment. Oxley Chamberlain. Abraham. Sterling. Abraham. He's gone for it. Schick gets into a dangerous position. Back to the keeper and try something new. Maguire. England still chasing a one-goal deficit here. Hoists it forward. And the through ball is intercepted. To locate someone up front, and there's a long ball. Schick beats the off and the finish. So well, and it's Sterling. Oh, some tackle that. Strong challenge, but well within the laws. Swung over, and he's there to cut it out. Played in with accuracy. It's on a plate. Oh, that's a foul in a dangerous area. He does seem to be in considerable discomfort. So I hope it's nothing serious. Well, it was deliberate, it was cynical, and you have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity, but it had to be done. Push far! And here's Husbar. Husbar up to meet it. Oh, just needed a better contact. Well, being able to generate that amount of activity in the box means it's hard not to pick someone out. Chilwell. Sterling. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. That intervention was very necessary. England are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Sterling. Abraham! Good challenge, he just stood firm. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Some of them aren't happy with that challenge and they're getting involved. Steady. So what can they conjure from this one? Well, this is a very real chance, and should it go in, it could be a big game-changer. Great strike, but the keeper's equal to it.
Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. He's got away. The Czech Republic are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. Maguire drives it forward. Rashford. Kane gets into some space. It's gone a long way up and away. England have a simple task to find something sustained now and keep the pressure on. Chuck goes for goal! Oh, that is rather wayward. The Czech Republic making consecutive changes here. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Rashford complains about that challenge, robust but fair. Jordan Henderson, England have reached the now or never stage. And it's Huspauer. That's it. They are out. Well, great expectations have turned to huge disappointment. They have simply not done enough to merit a place in the knockout stage. After all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, it all came down to this, and they had to produce to ensure qualification, and they've not delivered. I think looking back over the camp...